guys in this tutorial I'll show you how you can uh, protect your uh, VGA card to not uh, take uh, damage uh, in Silent Hunter 5 as you know Silent Hunter 5 uh, use a lot uh, of good graphics and your VGA card uh, will uh, have a very high temperature <coughs> so to to protect our VGA card we can uh, use uh, two software program one or the other or we, we can make a combination between these two software <coughs> so first uh, method uh, to protect my VGA card is to limit uh, his uh, the FPS in the Silent Hunter 5 game okay so for that I'm going on the internet and I go on the subsim page I go on the download section <coughs> here I have utility I'm going here okay and I have here on the fourth position anti-lag. I'm going here and I choose download anti-lag and I put him on the desktop I made the test folder and I choose to download here okay okay perfect now I'm going on the desktop <coughs> on the test here and I have my anti-lag I enter here and I will uncompress all the folder that I have here <coughs> on my uh, on my folder here okay now I will go here where is the compressed file I will delete this one <coughs> I will right click here and I will choose to make a new folder I will call this folder anti-lag okay and I will take all these three folders, files that I uncompress it, right click, cut, I'm going inside of this anti-log and I choose here paste. Okay? Now I will go here where is writing anti-log CVG files, okay? <coughs> and I will edit this one with notepad, notepad, okay? So here it's what I have here, config, render head limit 2, I will leave like this and here FPS limit. So here I can choose my FPS limit, okay? So uh, if I want to not uh, that my VGA not taking damages, uh, I'll try to limit uh, the FPS. So uh, some people use uh, like um, uh, maximum limit 32 FPS uh, because they say <coughs> the human eye can, can see uh, cannot make a, a clear difference <coughs> after the 32. Okay, so if you will have 32 or 45, you cannot see with uh, your eyes the difference in game, okay? So, we will put here 32, we go here 5, save, and we'll close this folder, okay? And this one also. Now, I'm going on the generic mode enable, and I'm going here, task, import mode, I'm going on the desktop, here I will search for my test folder where I put my anti-lag okay you see here here is the anti-lag okay now I have the anti-lag here I go I click and <coughs> in this way I I will not uh, concern myself uh, that my VGA card will take damages because uh, of the high temperature in the game okay but <coughs> another way I'll uh, take this out Another way is to let your uh, VGA card to run at maximum capacity and to use a software to control the, the your VGA temperature and your VGA fan. So for that uh, I'm using a software called the uh, MSE Afterburner which is a free software and uh, uh, even is, is made by MSE. Uh, uh, this software is working with uh, all VGA card types. Okay. So <coughs> mine is uh, uh, NVIDIA, so it's working with my NVIDIA also. So I'm going here on the Google, and I'll search for MSC after burner. Enter. I'm going here on this first line. Okay. Go here. Download and discussion download MSC Afterburner, save, and I put here on my test folder, save. Okay, <coughs> so we, we can use the anti-lag, we can use 
this software or we can make a combination between anti-lag and the software so we can limit our FPS and we can control in the same time our uh, uh, VGA uh, card temperature okay <coughs> we'll take a while it's 24.6 max so this uh, <coughs> this software uh, it's working with all uh, the VGA card it's not important your uh, the VGA card to type can be used with ATI, with uh, NVIDIA, with uh, MSI, it's not important, okay? <clears throat> okay, so my uh, so I have here the folder that I download. I go inside and I have two two programs. I will uncompress both of them here, okay? Perfect, so I have MSC Combustor set up and I will I have MSC Afterburner set up. I will install both of them, okay? So first one I will install this one first, MSC Combustor. I will show you after what is doing this one. Next, I accept. Next, next. Next. Create a desktop icon and create a quick lock chicken. Next, install. Next don't launch like now finish okay now I will install the first uh, the second uh, <coughs> software that I downloaded uh, MSC Afterburner setup 2210 uh, double click next I accept next 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 I don't want to run, don't want to show me the readme, finish. Okay, so I just finished to install the both software. I'm going uh, right now here to where my MSC Afterburner, I have a shortcut here or I uh, I can choose by here all programs, but you have a shortcut on your desktop, okay? So I now I will show you how to configure this one. I will just double click. And as you see, I have this uh, one here, okay? So, uh, my graphic card, he detected it's G4 GTX 465. My driver uh, version is uh, uh, 2589.96, okay? So, <coughs> I don't use uh, this software to overclock uh, my uh, uh, my GPU from VGA card. I only, I only want uh, to use this to control my fan uh, RPM and my VGA temperature okay so I have here settings okay so I just go here where is right settings and first you have general here I choose uh, I let like this synchronize settings for similar graphic processor I will click here on the general properties start with Windows start minimize and that's all in, in this uh, one okay I'm going to the next one fan enable user 